In this video we will be looking at recording a macro in Excel to conditionally format data. By recording a macro for conditional formatting in Excel, users can swiftly apply complex formatting rules to data, enhancing visualization and highlighting important information effortlessly. Let's focus on this worksheet with a table as an example. Before recording a macro, it is good practice to save the file as macro enabled to ensure it works in the future. To do so, select Save As and find the Macro Enabled option from the drop-down. To start a macro recording, you must click on the Record button in the lower left corner of the screen. After the Record Macro window opens, give it a name and select OK. Note that you can create a shortcut key to run this macro as well as create a description of what the macro does. I'm going to add conditional formatting to highlight cells greater than 600. Conditional formatting options can be found in the Home tab. Now I will stop recording the macro by clicking on the Stop button. Here I will clear out the formatting so I can test the macro. Now to test the macro I use Fn plus option plus F8 to view macros, select the macro that I just created and run. You can run the macro from a button. To do so, click on the Insert tab followed by clicking on the Shapes option. Insert a shape into the worksheet. Next, open the menu for the shape and assign the shape to the macro. Thanks for watching this video. For articles related to Excel, see the link in the description.